had so much rain here with these storm systems that rolled through earlier this week. We had the one batch Sunday night into Monday morning and then the second batch Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Several ingredients required here to get this heavy rain. The first is way upstairs at 30,000 feet. That is the jet stream that drives the storm tracks across the country. So that was the first ingredient that we had. Second one, we had a stationary boundary at the surface and that caused the air to converge, rise and create showers and thunderstorms. So that was number two and likely the most important of the three ingredients here is what developed at night and that was the low level jet stream. Another jet stream at 5000 feet coming in from the southwest and that was bringing in very warm, moist air into our area, feeding these showers and thunderstorms, keeping them alive and creating these complexes during the overnight hours. So that's why we had the heavy rain in Kenosha on Monday morning on the order of about five and a half inches. And then we had that second system develop on Tuesday night where we had that initial low level jet stream really start to fire up those showers and thunderstorms and keep them alive and continue to allow them to develop. And then we had a cold front come in from the northwest on Wednesday morning, and that allowed the rain to continue, especially in our southern counties, again, where some folks, Lyons in particular, ending up with over eight inches of rain with just that one system. That's why we had so much rain here across parts of southeastern Wisconsin. Thankfully, we don't have those ingredients tonight.